Hi there and welcome to your guide to the Sona Signature bass drum pedal, the HLZ 5380. It's a massive pedal, it's really heavy, it's uh, three and a half kilos, uh, but it's um, it's like driving an old an old Mercedes S-Class, it really is. Once uh, you get uh, your foot on there and you're playing away, it's really comfortable. And um, yeah, you've got a round cam on here. It's not an accentuated one, just old school um, direct feel to the pedal. Some of the features on it are uh, a little bit unknown and uh, can be a little bit daunting, but it's set up for maximum adjustability. You cannot break it. Uh, feel free to, um, to experiment. And all the settings on it are recoverable. You know, you can adjust it, you can move it, and you will get back what you had uh, if you do decide to explore some of the features on it. Um, so you've got um, the two arms for laying flat. That's pretty quick and easy. You've got a couple of carpet grippers there. You've got rubber on the bottom. Uh, so it's very, very stable when it's in place. And because it is three and a half kilos, it helps the stability of the bass drum. So if you're playing a light bass drum, it, it helps weigh the whole thing down. Um, what have we got here? Let's just look on the other side. On this side, you've got the arm uh, for adjust, uh, adjusting the tension of the clamp onto the bass drum hoop. Again, you can do this from the drummer's throne. You can do this from your seat, just like you can adjust the spring tension from uh, the arm on this side. Uh, quick guide to the, the screws on this one. That one does the beta throw. This one does the actual arm itself, so the angle. I tend to have mine at 45 degrees. I was always taught that. But obviously you, can, you can set it exactly how you, how you want it. With that one, that's dead easy. They did three betas. They did a, 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 a Mr. Fluffy and uh, Mr. Wood, and this is just the regular felt. You can always tell it's the sewn one because it's it's uh, kind of uh, chamfered on this side, so it looks a bit conical. Uh, a nice feature. On the other side, and this is the part where people often get a bit confused, is that this arm, again, is designed so you can adjust the tension from your seat, and nothing more, really. There's nothing flash about it. It copies the Rogers design. Uh, this arm, you can actually also adjust here. It's a single piece of metal that wraps around the, the, the post, if you like. Undoing that means you can just you can set that where you choose to have it. I'd have mine just in the upright position so it doesn't catch my flares. Um, changing the spring, we've actually got three springs available for the, the, the signature. Um, and you can, in, you can use this on a phonic as well, which doesn't have this arm. Um, I've got on this one the, the kind of heavy gauge one and they go down in lightness. Um, they also reduce in length. Um, the, the light gauge one is slightly shorter than the heavier gauge one. Um, one of the features on here, if we just actually take it to pieces so you can see it, is that this um, kind of clamp here which clamps onto the middle axle uh, accounts for the length of spring and I'll just show you that. So this arm comes out. There's a washer. There's a washer on the bottom and that's a lock nut. That post, by the way, is chamfered on both sides so it can't spin in there. And that's a like a not a round hole, it's a kind of rectangular hole. So I'll just pop that there, pop that there. So yes, on this uh, particular pedal, you actually have two holes on this uh, this gripper, this kind of spring spring arm. This is a brass screw, uh, beautifully made, but be careful when you put it back in that you don't cross thread it. And you'll see here, there are two holes. One accommodates the high tension spring and the shorter throw one, the, 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 the shorter one is the jazz spring and that goes in that hole there. So when you do get hold of these springs or if you've got these springs and you want to change them, just bear in mind that this is hidden, you don't see this and it's, uh, it's the short one 
for the jazz and the, the big one goes on the second one there like so if I can get it to bite there we go and that's a brass screw so just watch out that you don't cross thread that the owner before me I mean I've had this 15 years and I've not changed this spring he actually crimped the bottom head uh, sorry the bottom arm uh, onto this assembly so it really didn't come off so yeah uh, undoing that one there that just takes this all off the axle you'll see that that is a flat edge um, when you see this occasionally you'll see this um, this arm in a lower position and you can run it in the lower position that's that's the piece of metal beautifully made one piece when you see that in its lower position you can run it upside down but just bear in mind that when you have everything set correctly that flat edge is on the bottom so the spring the spring nut here will be on the flat edge uh, sorry the round edge uh, which means it's not gripping perfectly but you can run it that way uh, like I say if you think it's going to get in the way of your flares or your, your trousers or whatever but just bear that in mind that this is a, on the axle it's a flat edge which gives it a better fix okay so just putting this back together let's have that in its up position I'm using a signature key because uh, it fits all the bolts right the new ones don't so if you uh, need to adjust it either use a screwdriver or one of these old keys bring that back round uh, then we need the arm in the position there's the arm that had a washer on it poke that back through attach the spring lower that down like that then we're washer again and then we're the top lock nut which is in effect um, which sets the tension just lower that back down and as you bring the tension in you'll see the beta the beta come back like so right and I've just noticed that that arm is not quite on the end there we are so then and we're you know, we're back to um back to working the only other feature here worth talking about is the height uh, the post height which is on those two there um, if I just undo the lose the tension a bit on that and take that top one off you've got five holes on the on the post again feel free to adjust I mean I play a 20 and a 24 those are my bass drum sizes and I just leave it set like this and adjust the beta height and that seems to do me fine uh, but if you are playing like a 26 or a 28 what you can do is you can really raise it uh, or if you're on an 18 all the time you can lower it down and then the whole thing becomes a lot easier and then you just adjust the beta angle the spring tension and the beta height to just suit each point and you practice at that point but uh, yeah that pops all the way out and just goes in there so that's it really um, you can't break it it's set up for maximum adjustability um, I paid 30 quid for this 15 years ago and I'm still using it and this is the first time I've seen it out the box pretty much or not on the kit um, I might even put some oil on it I don't think I've ever oiled it in that time it runs like a dream so yeah there we go so that's your guide to the signature pedal Pop your comments in the below in the boxes below, and uh, thank you very much.